Welcome to Insight Fusion. Ever wondered how the world's first billionaire amassed his fortune? Well, our journey begins in the humble setting of Richford, New York, where John D. Rockefeller was born in 1839. In the rolling hills of upstate New York, John was the second of six children born to William Avery Rockefeller and Eliza Davison. His father, an elusive man known as Devil Bill, was a notorious con artist who peddled miracle cures and often left his family for long periods. Despite his questionable ethics, Devil Bill instilled in young John a sharp business acumen and an understanding of negotiation and investment. On the other hand, John's mother, Eliza, was a devout Baptist and a strict disciplinarian. She instilled in her son a strong sense of duty, thrift, and hard work. From her, John, learned to save every penny to give generously to those less fortunate. These teachings would later guide his philanthropic endeavors, which included founding two universities and donating millions to medical research. Despite his humble beginnings, John showed a knack for business from a young age. At just 16, he landed his first job as a bookkeeper, earning 50 cents a day. But John had bigger dreams. He saved diligently, and within three years, ventured into business with a partner, Maurice B. Clark. Together, they established a commission merchant business, dealing in hay, grain, meats, and other goods. John's journey to wealth wasn't a straight path, though. It was paved with risks, hard decisions, and a relentless pursuit of success. His story is a testament to the power of determination, resilience, and a keen eye for opportunity. Even in his early ventures, John demonstrated a strategic mind and a knack for turning a profit. So, from the rural landscapes of New York, the young Rockefeller set his sights on the bustling city of Cleveland, setting the stage for his legendary business career. His journey from a small-town boy to the world's first billionaire is a tale of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of the American dream. It's a story that's as inspiring as it is cautionary, but above all, it's a testament to the power of human spirit and determination. So let's follow in the footsteps of this titan of industry and discover how he shaped the world as we know it today. In 1863, a pivotal moment happened in Rockefeller's life. He founded Standard Oil, a company that would come to revolutionize the oil industry. John D. Rockefeller wasn't simply satisfied with being a part of the oil industry, he had his sights set on running it. And to do that, he knew he had to play the game differently. So he did what any shrewd businessman would do. He bought out his competition. But he didn't stop there. He leveraged economies of scale to reduce costs, improve efficiency, and increase profits, crafting a business model that was both brilliant and ruthless. Standard Oil was more than just a company. It was an empire, a behemoth, a force of nature. Rockefeller's business strategies were innovative for the time. He implemented vertical integration, taking control of every aspect of the business from extraction to distribution. This not only allowed him to maintain control over the quality of the product, but also enabled him to undercut competitors with lower prices. But Rockefeller's rise to the top wasn't without controversy. His aggressive tactics were often seen as ruthless and predatory. He was known to squeeze out competitors, sometimes using less than ethical methods. He brokered secret deals, leveraged his influence, and wasn't above using dirty tricks to get ahead. His practices were so controversial that they eventually led to the creation of U.S. antitrust laws. However, despite the controversy, there's no denying the success of Standard Oil. It wasn't just a company, it was a juggernaut, a titan that towered over the oil industry. And at the helm was Rockefeller, a man who started with nothing and built an empire that would shape the course of American industry. By the late 1880s, Standard Oil controlled about 90% of the U.S. refineries and pipelines, creating an empire that would make Rockefeller the world's richest man. His wealth was unimaginable, his power unparalleled. But his story was just beginning. The rise of Standard Oil was merely the first act in the captivating saga of John D. Rockefeller. With great power came great controversy. Rockefeller's monopoly didn't go unnoticed, 
and it soon became the target of public outcry and legal action. The beginning of the 20th century saw the rise of a public sentiment against the giant Standard Oil Company. The company's monopolistic practices had sparked a wildfire of controversy. Accusations of unfair competition, predatory pricing, and secret transportation rebates were rife. The public outcry was deafening, and the federal government couldn't ignore it. In 1906, the government launched a lawsuit against Standard Oil under the Sherman Antitrust Act, aiming to break up the company's monopoly. The legal battle was fierce, lasting five years. The case reached the Supreme Court, where in 1911, a landmark decision was made. The court declared Standard Oil an illegal monopoly, ordering its breakup into 34 independent companies. But here's where the story takes an unexpected twist. The breakup of Standard Oil did not spell financial ruin for Rockefeller. Quite the contrary. The shares he owned in the companies that emerged from the breakup significantly increased in value. And so, paradoxically, the dissolution of his empire made him the world's first billionaire. Rockefeller's response to this turn of events was as shrewd as ever. He didn't fight the decision. Instead, he focused on managing his investments in the new companies, which included names we still recognize today, like ExxonMobil and Chevron. Yet, even as his wealth continued to grow, Rockefeller began to shift his focus. The pursuit of wealth, while still important, was no longer his primary goal. He turned his attention to philanthropy, using his fortune to establish foundations and fund scientific research, education, and public health initiatives. Even in the face of adversity, Rockefeller's wealth continued to grow. But his life was more than just a pursuit of wealth. His story is a testament to the power of adaptability and the ability to see opportunity where others see only setback. Beyond the world of business, Rockefeller had another passion, philanthropy. He saw wealth as a tool to better the world, and he certainly left his mark. John D. Rockefeller, a man best known for his fortune, was also a trailblazer in the world of philanthropy. His contributions were vast and varied, but one of the most notable was the establishment of the University of Chicago. In the late 19th century, he pledged $2 million to help found the university, a sum unheard of at the time. Today, the University of Chicago is one of the leading institutions in the world, renowned for its commitment to rigorous scholarship and innovative thinking. Rockefeller was the embodiment of the belief that those who have more should give more. This ethos was exemplified in the creation of the Rockefeller Foundation in 1913. With an initial endowment of $100 million, the foundation set out to promote the well-being of humanity throughout the world. Over the past century, the Rockefeller Foundation has funded pioneering research in medicine, supported advancements in agriculture, and championed initiatives to reduce poverty. The influence of Rockefeller's philanthropy extends far beyond these institutions. He helped shape modern philanthropy, pioneering a strategic approach that focuses on tackling the root causes of societal issues rather than just treating the symptoms. This approach has been adopted by philanthropists and foundations around the globe, creating a ripple effect of positive change. But Rockefeller's legacy isn't confined to philanthropy. His business acumen and strategies have had a profound impact on the corporate world. His focus on efficiency, investment in research and development, and commitment to reinvesting profits back into his business have become standard practices in today's corporations. Rockefeller's story is a testament to the power of wealth when used for good. His philanthropy has touched countless lives, his business strategies have shaped the corporate world, and his legacy continues to inspire. Rockefeller passed away in 1937, but his legacy continues to shape our world today. From the humble beginnings to the heights of unimaginable wealth, Rockefeller's journey was nothing short of extraordinary. John D. Rockefeller, the man who began with nothing and ascended to become the world's first billionaire, made an indelible mark on the American economy. His business strategies, strategic thinking, and relentless pursuit of success have informed our understanding and approach to business today. Rockefeller's creation the Standard Oil Company and its ensuing monopoly transformed the oil industry. His application of horizontal and vertical integration was a game changer, showcasing the power of consolidation and control in business. These strategies, 
while controversial, undeniably laid the groundwork for modern corporate structures and practices. Beyond his business accomplishments, Rockefeller's philanthropy played a key role in shaping his legacy. His belief in the power of wealth to advance society led him to donate more than half a billion dollars over his lifetime. His donations to education, science, and public have had extensive effects, laying the groundwork for advancements in these fields. Yet, Rockefeller's influence reaches further than his direct contributions. His approach to business and philanthropy has inspired countless entrepreneurs and philanthropists. Rockefeller's story is a testament to the power of ambition and strategic thinking, illustrating that success is attainable with the right mix of determination, innovation, and vision. Despite the controversies and criticisms, Rockefeller's legacy remains significant and influential. His life encapsulates the American dream, demonstrating that with hard work, strategic thinking, and a touch of luck, one can rise from humble beginnings to unimaginable heights. To wrap it up, John D. Rockefeller was not merely a titan of industry. He was a visionary who comprehended the power of wealth and harnessed it to shape the world. His story isn't a simple rags to riches tale. It's a saga of ambition, innovation, and philanthropy. John D. Rockefeller, the world's first billionaire, a man who shaped the trajectory of American business and a lasting imprint on the world. His story is a testament to the power of ambition, strategic thinking, and philanthropy. If you enjoyed this journey through wealth and power, don't forget to subscribe for more such captivating narratives.